Once we get our hands on the site and it comes under Beebout's management, we'll start to think about how we want to maintain the site to make sure that it stays in such immaculate condition as it is in now. So we'll probably introduce grazing um, using probably sheep, possibly cattle, which will make sure that all the tall grasses are kept down and those small delicate herbs that are specialist and important for supporting the butterflies can flourish and make this amazing display during the summer. We'll also do some scrub control so that we have little pockets of scrub across the site, but not too much. And we'll also do some work in the woodland, possibly by opening up the canopy and allowing the structure to develop. One of the most important things we'll do when we take on the site is some survey work so that we can find out what we've got on site and that will help direct our management. Me and my team will carry out some surveys, we'll assess all the different species that we've got by carrying out quadrats, uh, looking at the flora and butterfly transects so that we record all the different species and how diverse and abundant they are throughout the season. And this will then help tell us, are there particularly rare species that we need to be managing for or direct the management in particular ways. It will also tell us whether the site is improving or you know, remaining stable into the future. So one of the other important uses that we'll have for the survey work is to provide information for visitors coming through the site. The survey information will be able to tell us exactly what key species we have here on site and we'll be able to provide that information on interpretation boards so that as people walking through the site on the Chilterns Way won't simply walk through and think it's another field and miss this gem, they'll be able to understand the site and realise what an amazingly important site it is for wildlife. So for me, Yeosden is particularly important because not only does it support a wide variety of animals and plants it, that we would see in a good chalk grassland, it's already got this amazing assemblage and we need to be here to preserve it and look after it. If wildlife organisations weren't here, then it would easily be lost.